Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 67 of uh, Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt. Wait, wait, I'm getting confused. Where am I? How are we going? Uh, okay, oh, okay, let's go check out that notice board. I think it's this way, right? Hey, hair. Okay, thank you. Oh, they have a white orchard too, huh? Looks like white orchard. Okay, hey, this town over here, they look a lot more prosperous. Okay, where is the the notice board? Okay. Gunny the Goose. Dwarf seeking female companionship. <laughs> Ode. Oh, it's a poem. Saddle cream. What do you mean saddle cream? Travel much? Spend weeks at a time in the saddle? Oh, okay. Message to our dear customers. Wars governed by harsh laws. For almost two decades, I've imported the finest Nif Garden wares to the north and sold them to you at fantastic prices. Prices so low that this, I swear, sometimes I made no profit at all. Sadly, renewed conflict between our nations has made the continuation of this trade impossible. I won't be coming this year for the Bellatane Fair, so you shan't have any Angren Lays the Zairi Velvet or the world famous Ebbing Lemon. I know you all are so fond of. Forgive me, good people, and drink to my health. Orchard Hands Wanted. Uh, okay, dear Witcher, sir, if you have this impression here about that is, I have a hunch at what I'm saying. I'm dead certain that the woods I was lucky enough to gain possession of, or at least I felt lucky about that till recently, that these woods are home to a cruel evil. A devil some kind, a hired gang of dwarven loggers not long back to harvest lumber, strapping lads, every last one having cut down many a mighty tree in his life. So you can imagine my surprise when said loggers disappeared, all save one. And he claimed to have seen a monster. I've marked out a bounty for freeing my stretch of wood from all foul creatures, and dearly hope that soon I will have the pleasure of giving it to someone. Sincerely. Okay, let's do... No, no not, not do that, but... How come there is... Let us check if there is a... Fast travel sign here. No, maybe a harbor? What's this guy doing? Redanian soldiers, huh? Ah, okay. Here is a... Pub? Is this a pub? Welcome. Welcome. Wow, their pubs are all... The bartenders are all very what have you got beefy. There? Hey, he's got cards. Cool. What are these cards? Havikar Healer. Oh, Skoetal. Okay, let's buy that. Scorch! Wow. Discard after playing kills the strongest cards on the battlefield. Hey, that is fantastic. What's this? Imperial Brigade Guard. Nifgardian Empire. Uh, young emissary. Oh, level five. Place next to a card with the same name to double the strength. Nif Guardian. Scoetal. Francesca Findabar Gwent card. Daisy of the Valley. Draw a card. Draw next to a card at the beginning of the battle. Oh, this is a leader card. Uh oh, we just spent a lot of money. Now let's see if he is willing to buy food stuff. Will he buy food stuff from us? How about... Nope. 
none on the uh, crafting or uh, let's sell him pig hide wow we get nine nine crowns for pig hide up here huh Oh, we have even more pig hides. That's 900 crowns. No, we will not use... How many? 65? 60? Let's use 60. Wow, we are rich. So, okay. Uh, how about these things? Bear hide. Wow. We get more value up here. How about the other stuff? Uh, goat hide? and old ship skin skin yes okay uh let's hold off until we we see more stuff and uh no i mean uh, let's hold off maybe other merchants further up north how about how about the pig uh ham They're paying four not too bad actually okay Okay. Farewell. So long. Uh, wow, that's cool. We bought some cards. Now I am uh, very, very much interested because Gwent deck. See, these are the scorched cards. Somebody scorched us before. And what are they? Uh, discard after playing kills the strongest cards on the battlefield. So what? Okay, let us. Uh, that's our deck, right? So if we put a scorch card in there, oh, it's a special card. Now we have villain Tetramert, <laughs> Tetramert, we can scorch. Uh, so this scorch card is not as strong as villain, but uh we can do an extra scorch here so yeah we will play scorch here uh, and also in our see oh young emissary wow we need to two more of that imperia brigade okay and then we will put a scorch card in there too let's sniff guardian and for the monster deck, yeah, we can put. I guess that's it, right? Nothing on the. We didn't buy any more new cards for for the northern. I think maybe we might be maxed out already on the northern. Oh, this is a medic. That's a medic, right? Choose one card from this card pile and place it instantly. No heroes or special cards. That's good. Wow. So these are the cards that the uh, that the monster deck is very strong on. Find any cards with the same name in your deck and play them instantly. Whoa. Except they're low level. They're not that high level. But still pretty good. How about this one? Can be placed in either the close combat or range combat. Cannot be moved once placed. So the only good thing about that is uh, is that we can uh, what do you call this? Yeah, use the commander's horn so that we have a long line of. Okay. Or are we on the map? What city is this? Gunny of the Goose. And we have been to Dryham Castle. Uh, okay, let's see if we can go all the way there and see. Ah, there's another merchant here. Hey, let's go further south. Oh, where's north? That's south. That is south. One. 
Are we heading in the right direction? Nope, we are not heading in the right direction. Heading in the other direction, the other side of this river. Okay, okay. And follow this road down south until we see the innkeeper or the merchant. Oh, he's an itinerant trader. Show me your wares. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Oh, he doesn't have any. Yeah. Pure silver. Hmm. Oh, he has 160 crowns. Is he willing to buy leather? We can sell him more leather. Oh, no, we want to sell to a storekeeper. The storekeeper bought it from us for nine crowns. No, we don't want an itinerant, guys. No good. Farewell. Farewell. Okay, let's head back north. Let's head back north. North. Oh, there's supposed to be a bunch of... Okay, let's let's start running north. Yeah, this area is a lot more developed than uh White Harbor or... Oh, Vela is definitely like a... What's that? I don't know what level is that? No, he's a level 15. No, no, we don't want to deal with that. It's a level 15. No wonder we were told not to come here. Okay, <laughs> okay, let's see what road we can follow so that we do not stumble into any of these um, monsters. Uh, you know what? Uh, huh. let's, let's take, let's follow one of these main roads. So that we don't have to deal with these monsters. Yeah. Because they're high level and uh, we are low level. At least within this. Uh, for this part of the game. And if we can discover enough uh, fast travel signposts. We can avoid them entirely until we're ready for them. Okay, let's just run through.
Wait, are we fo should we follow that? Yeah, let's let's just hug the shoreline and until we cross that bridge. I wonder if they will let us in. New marker, Glory Gate. Smuggler's Cache. Okay, we... Let's not check on that first. Let's see if they will let us in. Look cool! Suspicious to me, tramp. <laughs> the passive floor is a material world. So let, we're just following where we will end up and see um, what further clues will allow us, like right here. What are we supposed to do here? That's one. It's just oh, take a boat to Skelligay. Greetings. Right. Mm. Oh. Which boat is going to Skelligay? You captain of this tub. What's it to you? I'm Skellige bound. Need to get there. Start swimming. Islanders, the black ones, all attackers in those waters. No one sails the route these days. Come on. Clans are ready to deal. Leave you alone if you do. Someone's done it. Gotta have. Not likely. Except maybe that daft bastard Wolverstone from the Atropos. A liar, a thief, and a bugger, that one. He might have parlayed with the sea swine. Hmm. Where can I find him? In a pigsty most times. Others, the golden sturgeon. Ask for Flask. Everyone knows him. Okay. Apparently, he won't let us go. Oh. Wow, this is a big town. Where's the where's the over here? Notice of the death of Joachim Schwein. Now this are notices. Wanted Tris Marigold. Oh, eyewitness testimony has confirmed that Tris Marigold of Haribor Maribor, known as 14th of the hill a member of the infamous lodge of sorceress is currently in residence in our fair city anyone in possession of information about her place of hiding plans or accomplices is obligated by law both divine and human to report to the nearest outpost of the temple guard at once and whenever help and uh, whoever, whoever helps the witch is by giving her food or shelter shall burn alongside her. Beware, there's a swindler about. Fair Novigrads, let it be known far and wide that Klaus Fettenberg is a liar. Oh, to all Gwent players. Vime Valdi. Uh, Vime Vivaldi cheats. The dwarven banker Vime Vivaldi is a villain and a cheat. Using typical non-human trickery, he conned his way to victory over me. Then forthwith demanded I surrender my cards without the slightest consolation or giving me the chance for a rematch. Anyone tempted to play with him, resist or regret. How about this? So that is also just... Contract issued by the Temple Guard of the city of Novigrad, follow fellow followers of the flame. In recent days, several officers of the Temple Guard have been ravaged 
to death in a most bestial manner. An investigation has been launched to look into the matter. So the perpetrator shall soon feel the iron grip of justice closing around his throat. Anyone able to help the guardsmen track down and punish this murderer or murderers, as the case may be, is asked to report to the nearest guard post at once. A reward is foreseen. It's likely, it's likewise hereby announced that any man aiding or abetting these bandits or withholding evidence regarding these crimes shall be punished by torture, imprisonment, or even death. Okay, let's take that. And then what's this last announcement? Lessons in Savoie Ville. Which knife should be used when eating fish? <laughs> okay. New marker, undiscovered location. Oh, you got booted first last time. Look for the ship's captain. Okay. Nobody's looking at us. Yeah, as long as nobody's looking at us. Hey, how come I'm, I'm seeing something like a quest giver? Power of the eternal fire be with you. A witcher? Oh, hear about the notice by chance? Not exactly, but what it's about? Not quite, but what's it about? I hear right, you're going on some voyage, need a companion. Not just some voyage, cross the sea. Mark this, when I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved let I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either, a black one, the rarest and most precious. Well, well, ambitious. Perhaps, but they were empty words. I came from the war, that one and the next, but I never fulfilled my promise. My time to change that. For if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone, need a strong shoulder to lean on. With your shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? Oh... Let's help him. Plan's crazier than it is sane, but there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds sure. Fine. See you there. Why not at your waist like everyone else? I'm looking for a uh, I still haven't seen a uh, fast travel in Novigrad there should be one oh there it is and where are we we are way over there oh we passed by it did we oh there goes the buzzer uh, our timer so Oh, there is a merchant here, shopkeeper. Okay, uh, thank you guys for uh, joining me in this episode. I hope you will join me in the next episode. Bye.